For the first time, like ever, ever, I don't have a new phone case on the way. I know, I'm gasping too, like literally, <gasps> that's me right now too. I am so confused and lost. But here's the thing, I love phone cases way too freaking much. My eyeballs haven't been gravitated towards any phone case in a really long time. My bank account is even confused. My bank account is wondering what... Is she... Is she even... She's... She's not... Have I seen any phone cases that have me in a chokehold? No. Um, so I have to find it. I'm picky. I have a checklist and I know what I want when it comes to a phone case. And today I'm going to be shopping. And by shopping, I mean putting everything in my cart and then exiting out of the tab. I'm a window shopper. What can I say? What can I say? The criteria to a phone case for me is it either has to be glittery, it either has to be pink, it has to be trendy, and it has to be different. And it could be all of the above or it could be one of these things. Now, what's been on my mind heavily, you may ask? Yeah, I'll let you know. I am not one for the expensive things in life. No. No. but I saw something that struck me fancy. I'm talking about this Ramoa phone case. Why is it $160? Why? Why do I want it? These taste buds are not meant for this, okay? Okay, I can't even afford caviar, the thing that everyone's eating right now. No, I like this silver one. I like the silver one, yeah, very nice. I like this iridescent one a little bit more. Imagine that with the purple. Why do I have to spend this much to be happy. <laughs> is it just a basic case with some lines on it? Is it just designer? I'm a little upset that I don't know if I want this phone case. Anyways. Then I went down the rabbit hole that is expensive phone cases that I will never be able to afford. But nonetheless. Now my curiosity is kind of struck. Right now the brain is tingling and it's like making different movements. I want to see what the most expensive phone case is out there. Let's see. Okay, Sovorsky, Sovarsky, Sovorsky, so I literally can't even read that right. A crystal case for $240. Eh. A Gucci case for $370. I'm not a fan actually. I actually don't like this at all. This is giving grandma in the best way possible. Hold up. Like, this looks like a brooch. But $895? Are you joking? Anyways, moving on. Alexander Amuso. Amu Alexander Amusu. Why is that $2.7 million? For the iPhone 6. Um, I love phone cases, don't get me wrong, but if it's worth more than my house, we're gonna leave it in digital form. Okay, well that's kind of interesting. Anyways, moving on. So we're gonna stay on the expensive train. So there's this one phone case company that sells phone cases made out of wood and resin and all that fun stuff. Each one is different. Brandon actually bought a phone case from here and I saw it in person and it's absolutely freaking beautiful. It's called Carved and they have these kind of phone cases. Look at this. I've never wanted to slice wood more in my life. Like it's completely a different concept for phone cases. It's blowing my mind right now. It is. $189. We're gonna have to sleep on it, okay? We are. We're gonna have to. Now let's go back to my price range. My safety net. I think everyone's taking a nap for the iPhone 14. Well, let me double check on Casemate. Let me, let me just give them a little bit of a peek. Okay, so they came out with a collab with Icebox. I don't think it's my style though. I need another one of these cases in a different font. 
I need one of these. I want one of these because I loved it for my last phone. I wanted to like, I don't know, dazzle me. Oh, this one's cute. Casely, Casely, this Valentine's Day heart one, adorable, so cute. This wasn't even a question. I had to have it and now it's on its way. I went to Target the other day to look at their phone cases. Let me just tell you, Otterbox is coming through. Hello, this gradient one. And now I'm looking at this confetti one. And I don't know, they're different, they're fun. I have my eyes on Otterbox right now. I do. Swavorsky? So I don't know, I don't know. They have cases, they've got the case. This is glittery. This is, is it, is it glittery? What is that? Wait a minute, now I have to go look it up. And by look it up, I mean TikTok it. I want a swab bar, swab, swab, whatever the frick phone case. Look at how glittery. Look. I think I need it. Is that a bad idea? It's like $85. <laughs> um, let me look at the Kate Spade cases because I haven't got a Kate Spade case for my phone, which that should be a crime. Yeah. There's a sparkly Kate Spade case, but it's kind of ugly. <laughs> Just a little bit. Just a little ugly. No big deal. What is that? Oh, it's a ring stand. I think that I love this one. Actually, it's kind of ugly. Oh my god. I don't know. I don't want this. But it's kind of... No, it's going to look so bad with my purple iPhone. Never mind. Anyways, moving on. I want to see this one because it's a glittery pink case. It falls under two categories. Look at that. But I kind of don't like the whole MagSafe ring just being all up in my face. You know what I mean? <sighs> Nothing is striking me fancy. Nothing. Nothing. I don't know. What do you guys think if I were to buy a purse that holds my phone? Just my phone. Nothing else. But look at it. Coach came up. Look at this leather phone case with little dinosaurs. Do you have it in my size? <gasps> they do. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> Why do I kind of want it? It's kind of ugly too at the same time. I mean, that's like the best part of phone cases is that they can be a little ugly. And this one falls under the different category because it's, 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 it's different. A Dior phone case for $540. No, absolutely not. Okay, I'm going through another expensive iPhone list, okay? Number 10 being this case that looks so basic for a thousand four hundred and ninety-five dollars. It looks so like it looks like I glued it on there myself. Wait, hold up. Uh, now I'm thinking about it. I could make that. I don't know. Kinda sounds like I gotta I gotta figure out my next career step. Anyways, this thing. I've seen it. I've looked at it and I don't respect it. I don't know why I don't want to look at it, but that thing doesn't cover your case, does it? <laughs> well, look at that. The number one is the same thing. That 6,000 diamond one. Cool. Anyways. Is it worth it getting a phone case that's super expensive? I would just like to know. I would, I would like to know. I have no idea what this video was, but I, I don't know, it kind of, it was nice talking to you guys about the random things that's going on in the phone case world. Um, I feel like we have to stay in the loop together because I, I don't know what's going on anymore. I don't. I follow every single phone case company on my Instagram and I haven't seen anything that's been like, that, that just grabs onto my eyeballs. It's barely January, so I'm just gonna give it some time. I'm gonna give it some time. But I do love the feeling of a luxury kind of phone case, one that's well made. These hands be feeling all kinds of textures, all kinds of quality, and I just feel like you notice when you pay extra and get that nice feeling phone case. Um, so that's my curiosity with these like 
$200 cases. I want to know if they're worth it. I really do. So do I do it for the sake of science? Do I? <laughs> and then return it? <laughs> no. But, but really though. No. Like, do I ever just return it afterwards? I don't know. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed whatever this video was. Thank you guys for listening to me. I appreciate it if you made it to the end of this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. The button is down below. And if you guys want to see me on any other social medias, I'll have them right here for you. And I'll see you guys for the next video I do. Bye!